Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm George and today I'm here in sunny Sao Paulo. So bon dia, meus amigos. I'm gonna do a quick workout to start the day because it's still quite early in the morning. I arrived here last night and the time difference in the UK is actually four hours later. So for me, it feels like quite a nice time of day even though it's still quite early in the morning. And the plan today is to go out and explore Sao Paulo, which is a city I've only ever flown into and I've never actually explored. I need to buy some more art materials, some solvent to mix my paint with, and some more paints as well because they're often quite strict with the amount of liquids that you can bring. And as I only brought hand luggage, it's even harder to bring a good amount of paints. So I need to buy a bit of that. Visit some museums, some art galleries, hopefully discover some artists that I've never seen before and perhaps you've never seen either. And then do some exploring of the city of Sao Paulo, the biggest city in the Southern Hemisphere. Just about to get into the swimming pool and cool down a bit from this uh, Brazilian sun. So it's actually pretty cold, but I think the best way to get over the cold is always just to get in kind of quickly, like put on a plaster off. Let's just go for it, okay? <sighs> Hey guys, we're just on our way to get some breakfast before we go out and explore the city. One thing I'm really looking forward to is the fruit juices. Because here in Brazil, the fruit juices are always so fresh, so delicious, so many different fruits that we don't get in the UK. So guys, today I'm going to be drinking suco do maracujá, which is passion fruit. And this fruit grows naturally in Brazil. And it's actually the big yellow fruit in the sacks over there on the wall. Uh, and anyway, they made it nice and fresh. And let's have some fresh suku de maracuja. Obrigada. Very nice, very good. I did ask for them not to put sugar in, so it is slightly sour, but still really tasty, really fresh. Uh, juice, nice way to start the day. So I've ordered a tapioca, which is made from mandioca, which is basically a yam which grows in South America, and they grind that up into a powder, into a flour, and then inside it's got white cheese and an egg, and this is a traditional breakfast here in Brazil. So in front of me we have the Museo de Ipiranga, which is a really fantastic building. I mean the architecture is really impressive. Over here we've got some fountains and then look at that behind me. Massive, really impressive, beautiful building. And to be honest I don't know much about this museum so uh, it'll be interesting for me to see. I love Brazilian history, I'm very interested in it and obviously paintings as you guys know I love paintings, you love paintings, so that should be fun for us to have a look around. And I'm just looking out over here, you can see these beautiful tropical trees and some mountains off in the distance. And I'm actually thinking this could be a really nice location to paint, to set up my easel, maybe paint some of the architecture, the nature as well. Let's have a look inside this Museo di Piranga.
so behind me we have this massive painting by the Brazilian artist Pedro Americo who's one of my favorite Brazilian artists and the painting is called Independence or Death or Independência or Morte and in the middle we've got Don Pedro crying Independence or Death so I've just came out of the Museum do Iperanga and this museum was constructed to commemorate the history of Brazil and also the independence of Brazil. So Iperanga is actually the name of the river where that declaration of independence by Don Pedro was made as you saw in that massive really impressive painting by Pedro Americo. So I saw a lot of paintings that I'd seen online when I was trying to look up different Brazilian paintings and I was so impressed, especially by uh, some of those paintings by Oscar Pereira do Silva. Those scenes which were reimagined and painted of the first contact between the indigenous people and the colonizers of Brazil when they arrived on the shores of Brazil. It's such a fascinating thing to imagine, the meeting of two completely different worlds. So that was really impressive to see. And just yes, full of amazing art, a lot of historical artifacts as well, which are always interesting to see and then again here I am in these gardens I hope you can hear me because there's quite a lot of noise for someone's cutting the grass a bit but just incredibly beautiful and in my head I always thought Sao Paulo was this sort of concrete jungle and of all the cities in Brazil it didn't particularly interest me I'd rather go to places with more nature but here I am standing in this absolutely amazing place this building which looks a lot like Buckingham Palace back in England surrounded by this garden of you know fountains and exotic trees and it's, it's such a beautiful place so i've decided i'm going to come back here tomorrow or the next day and do a plein air landscape painting somewhere where i can capture the magnificence of this building the museo do Iperanga. i'm going to get some lunch now and hopefully find an art shop where i can buy the materials i need to paint <laughs> So I'm here at quite a famous restaurant in Sao Paulo called the Consulado do Bahia. So Bahia is uh, an area in the northeast of Brazil which has a very African influence. So I'm going to be eating some quite different dishes to that which I've ever tried before. But first off I'm starting with this uh, nice cup of suco do caju. So caju is the fruit of the cashew nut and it's got a really nice flavour to it. Very different to uh, any other fruit. I guess the closest thing I could say is slightly similar to a pear. It's kind of slightly sweet. So it's gonna have a bit of this suco de caju to drink before the food arrives. Really good, really, really nice. Now here's some more foods arrived as well. So I'll show you that. food has all arrived now and uh, it's looking pretty spectacular so we've got the moqueca uh, of fish and prawns some uh, farinha de mandioca and some uh, white rice as well so let's tuck in shop and I've bought all the paints that I need and I've also bought some low odor mineral spirits some solvent to thin the paint and also some linseed oil which is nice uh, to add in to the medium as I paint and then this oil paint from this company Core Fix which I believe is a Brazilian brand here we've got titanium white emerald green English green a light, which I've never used before. It's quite interesting, they had quite a lot of English greens there. Some cobalt blue, some uh, raw umber, carmine red. The other colours I have brought with me, titanium white, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre and ultramarine blue that I brought with me on the plane. I'm now going to go and paint the museum at the Iperanga, which was the museum we saw earlier today. So remember, do subscribe to my channel and check out my next video of me painting the museum do Iperanga in Sao Paulo.